tour. Today I'm going to share a little bit about the Whirligig B2B kit that from Solar Schoolhouse. So what we see here is all the parts. Um, we've got a small solar cell with wire and black and red clips. This is the motor that's going to make everything spin. It doesn't have any wires, but it's nice and strong. We have a few energy beads which uh, turn color under in sunlight for decorations, some colored uh, six inch pieces of pipe cleaner, a sticker. Uh, this wheel is going is what gets mounted onto the motor at some point. And then on top of the wheel, we're going to put this CD um, and that which we can attach the pipe cleaners to and decorate. So this particular kit we have, we also have this CD mailer. It's a box that's designed to mail CDs. And it's perfect low profile box for mounting a solar cell and a motor. So in this kit we've actually pre-cut the holes that are necessary for mounting the motor. Here where this little circular pizza cut look uh, is happening. And then also this hole here where we're going to feed the wires from the solar cell into the box. First thing you want to do is uh, fold this, just try to fold this box together to see how it'll look when it's folded up. Just kind of folding it around to see the seams here and you can bend that over. Comes around, Let me put that down. That's what the box is going to look like when it's done. It's good to know that beforehand. Then we take it apart. And the first thing we're going to do is mount, push this motor through the hole with the pizza cut. We go from the bottom. First thing I want to say though is the reason we have the motor way over here instead of the middle is that once we have everything lined up, we want the CD, the solar cell not to be shaded by the CD. So in this configuration we put the motor, the hole where the motor is going to be up near the edge of the box and then that allows for the solar cell to be put anywhere down here on top of the box so that it's not shaded by the CD. Okay, back to putting this through. So we're going to push it through It might be a tight fit, but if you push it through, then it'll look like this. I like to have the tabs pointing in this direction, so when the wires come through, we can just grab each tab. And then, if it's a little loose, you can put a piece of clear tape around the edge. This is one thing that you may have to dig around in your own supplies for. Um, the motor might be fine as is, but this this will hold it firm. Then the next thing we want to do is prepare the, the solar cell for um, putting it onto the box. And we have this double-sided tape tape and we cut these into a little um, cut one of the squares in half then we put the on each side of the blob I call this white part the blob this allows us just to get it to stick well onto the box when we're ready while we're at it uh, I'm gonna show you how to attach the CD to the yellow wheel. We're going to again cut these squares into in half so that we end up having four pieces. And then I put this uh, these pieces around the edge of the yellow wheel. This avoids the need for glue in this case. And actually is a better way to attach this than glue. Okay, so 
So then we're going to put that aside. We're going to feed the solar cells, the wires, through the hole there one at a time. And then um, going underneath, just clip on to the tab. So that's snug. And uh, I have a light in here, so. One of the first times you put it out in the sunshine, this is the point where you want to test it. Just, see I'm kind of showing this where you twist the axle really well, just to loosen it up. That motor's been in storage for a long time. A little rusty, not rusty, but just stiff, I should say. So doing that, my indoor sunlight. That's got the motor going. That's good. Tested that. Now we're going to switch gears and put the CD onto the yellow wheel and you can un take off the uh, piece of protective tape on the, I mean the paper on the tape I should say. So it's ready to adhere. And then we're going to, to try to get it into the center. I don't know if you can see this, but um, you can see that cross in the middle. So we're going to try to align this in the middle by um, seeing that cross there into the middle of the hole. And Let's see if we can do that. So that's that's gonna that's pretty pretty well centered. Actually, it's a little bit off, but that gives it some character. And then we have things attached and ready to decorate. So one thing last you want to do is peel off this protective piece of plastic that's on the solar cell, and. Uh, Take off the paper on the tape on the solar cell and just tape it down here. So then we put that onto the wheel and you can see that it's it's going. It's got a little wiggle because my I didn't center it exactly but I actually kind of like that. So, so from here, basically, it's your job to get decorating uh, and making an interesting solar whirly gig. This is going to be your conversation starter. And one of the reasons that we drilled holes around the edge of the CD for you is so that you can easily mount this, uh, attach this pipe cleaner, twist it a couple times, and then you can put on energy beads here if you like create some sort of a sculpture I'm gonna leave that to you and then you're ready to share it with people actually I really want to make a plea for um, once you're all done is decorating it uh, doing some designs on this with with colored pens draw some messages, some solar pictures. This will this is going to be your solar kinetic device that's going to start conversations about solar energy. Thanks for being part of this. Um, good luck and have a great time. Mm -hmm.